everybody. I still listen out there. So it gives me a lot of New York. Right. And you haven't been back in how long now? About two years. I haven't been here. What have you been up to? You've been real busy with your career with Playboy been and Under Siege. Been real busy. Playboy, movies, TV, commercials. Doing everything. Entertainment. Do you feel you're just starting to reach the peak of your career? Is this the I think big so. breaking point? I think this is a big break. I hope so. I don't know. You never know what's going to really kick that snowball effect, but I'm hoping this will be it. Yeah. Everybody's real supportive, though. How does it feel to be the first woman in Playboy and Penthouse? Damn good. <laughs> Damn good. Feels really good. I mean, it's it's really quite an honor to be on the cover of Playboy. It's a very well-respected magazine. Sandy first started coming on my show back when we had the Channel 9 show. Years ago she came in. And she actually snuck in with uh, Amy Lynn. Yes, yeah, she used to come in all the time with a bunch of different girls. And the first time we had on Cindy, let me say, wow, now you look like, now you look like Cindy Crawford. Oh. What did you do? Did you go to a doctor? Yes. No. We, we figured it out. You went to a, do oh man. <laughs> I think there's Take a off your dress. fitness doctor in Hollywood. <laughs> what is this? Look how good you look. What did you do to yourself? Oh, uh... Hi guys. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that voice hasn't changed. No, no, that hasn't changed at all. It is so nice to be back. What do you smell here? like, cocoa? Vanilla. Oh, wow. Can I smell you? Sure. Come over here and let me smell you. Come on. You Come on. I, I stuck with you when you were fat. I was never fat. Oh, I you were. Oh. She used to look like a oh. linebacker. Come here. Uh, now you're a piece of ass. Get over here. Look at you. Jesus Christ. What did you do? Make a deal with Satan? What the hell happened here? How, how did this happen? I'm like, I've never been nervous here, and I'm like nervous. What is this? My microphone. What did, you do? what did you do? What? I don't know. I just pulled the microphone out of the wall. <laughs> it's not even attached to anything anymore. Did it break? I think so. Oh, no, no, no. That. No, no. That's supposed to be a Your jacket. Like that so. sticks. Sandy, look what you did. I'm ah! sorry. <laughs> I feel responsible. I don't know. Where does this go? You this know what? That goes, goes in, in the lower part, doesn't yeah, it? Hold on. This sounds like yeah. a lot of your other expeditions. This. Fred, I'm glad you're here. It's cause e, e, that's because the E show. Last I heard, you left. Man, look how tall you even got. Well, <laughs> what happened? Well, these because you like laces. Yeah. Are you still married? Yeah. Oh. Is it no, working? But you still, Wait a second. Hold on a second. Oh. Is it working now? Oh, no. The microphone's broken. It's trashed. A little Hi. bolt came out of here, Howard. Oh, well, where's Scott? Here, screw the microphone. All right, we'll do the show without a mic. Yeah. <laughs> Can somebody fix this? That's I'm about to make out with Sandy. No, you're not. And yes, you I am. Hands free. You are going to be making out in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you say. I can't get out of here. They've mm. locked me in now. What are you doing, Jackie? You We're using scotch out. tape now to fix the microphone. There's five it's people it's now in there the looking at the microphone stand. Damn it, I got a girl, a hot <laughs> girl who's been in Penthouse and Playboy. Yeah, she's. this is monumental. This isn't going to work, but I don't care. Up, it's hanging.